They were, like Van Gogh used to live down here, Gauguin, Cezanne, I think. So I consult, so I consult the guidebook. Yeah, consult the guidebook. I look up book. artists. Um, unlike Van Gogh, he was from Provence, Paul Cezanne, uh, son of a banker. The studio called The Lorves has been left as it was at his death in 1906. A few items of memorabilia are on view. Oh, let's go there. I can't paint, by the way. Near Aix-en-Provence, in the heart of the Deep South, Jodie and Julian are on the trail of a great artist. They are close to Mont Saint-Victoire. They followed their guidebook to Cézanne's house, where they've met with local painter Patrice. Well, this looks familiar. Familiar view. Do you recognise it, JD? The mountain on the other side of the garden was Cézanne's favourite subject. Well, this is where Cézanne came mincing down here, did he? <laughs> Minced. Yeah. That's so cool. His life's work was to capture the transient effects of sunlight. Could you help us to do an acceptable painting? I can try. Yes. Because Cézanne said, all is possible. Patrice believes that Jodie and Julian may have a problem. But he has a solution. Imagine this is the first time. OK, good. Right, let's go paint. It's a bit ambitious for you. Perhaps you should paint a picture of a nice apple. <laughs> they are going to Patrice's studio on the outskirts of town so that Team Bentley can create a masterpiece worthy of the judges. You have now the photo you have taken. You can do what you want with the impression, the first impression you remember this afternoon before we went here. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Do you know, back in England... Oh, God, please don't. I'm trying to draw a pencil line. You're going to make me laugh. Back in England, J.D. is the face of Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you want to talk? Oh, OK. Jodie. Can we go soon? <laughs> I feel third place coming on again. No. We'll just keep, <laughs> keep trying. Well, that looks wrong as well. No, I'm concentrating. 